Okayama is known to seasoned tourists in Japan as well. You just switch to a different Shinkansen to either go west towards Hiroshima or east towards Osaka and Tokyo. Despite this prefecture not having all that much to offer to tourists besides Kurashiki, there are still some not so hidden gems here. Just ask this homeless looking guy. Okay guys, we're in Korakuen Garden. It's a garden here in Okayama. It's, it's pretty fucking famous and it's famous because of uh, that. Okay, it's focusing on my face, but that. You see the black castle in the background? It's the only black castle, only black castle in Japan. And I'm, uh, I gotta tell you guys, I'm not really used to, not really used to walking around vlogging like this. It's, I kind of feel like a douchebag, guys. And in before you guys in the comments, oh, you've always been a fucking douchebag. Well, shut the fuck up because I'm going to show you this a pretty amazing park and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it right meow. Well, not right meow. First, we gotta take a look at Okayama Castle. Now, this castle is called Okayama Jo in Japanese, which means Okayama Castle. And it's also called Karasu Jo, which means the crow castle. That's because it's black. And did you see how I got the shot of the crow flying into the tree there? High quality channel, subscribe please. There is one more black castle in Japan, also called Crow Castle, and that's Matsumoto Castle in Nagano. This castle, however, was originally built between 1346 and 1369, then rebuilt once in 1597 and once again in 1945 after being bombed, presumably by Americans or something, you know, basic bitch World War II shit. Now let's see what this unprepared vlogging guy has to say about this. So you see in the background here is the Okayama castle, the black castle. Now, I know you all want to see, you know, the inside of it. And today in this video, I'm not going to show it to you because I don't want to pay the 3,000 yen it costs to get in. I've been inside there before, you know, inside of these, uh, these Japanese fucking castles or whatever, it's, it's usually always same same right this one is inside of this one it's uh, it's basically the same as the Saga castle so it's better to enjoy the fucking beautiful exterior which is here do you know how much of a fucking cringe idiot i feel right now uh, you know walking around with this huge ass camera and microphone uh, you know direct at my face everybody's fucking looking at me but I don't care because I'm trying to get used to it for you guys so I can keep feeding you guys with great Japan content. Now, let's take a look around the courtyard, shall we? Yes, we shall. The courtyard is riddled with nice flowers and a nice little layout around the castle. Walking around here definitely made me feel like an Edo era peasant instead of a modern peasant like I am today. Surprisingly, there were a lot of cosplayers here trying to get a nice shot with the castle in the background, but I tried to be courteous and not film them because, you know, I'm awkward as it is. Nonetheless, this is a nice castle and don't be sad that I didn't go inside because I wouldn't be allowed to film in there anyways. I'm not just cheap, I'm also, you know, following the rules here. Anyways, I guarantee you it's more beautiful on the outside than it is on the inside. From the castle you also get a nice view of the Okayama city skyline. Now let's go ahead and ask my Japanese wife, who's from Okayama, what she thinks about the Black Castle. And she didn't want her face shown, so... So what do you think about the Black Castle? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to mosaic your face like they do in your Japanese pornos. This garden has to be one of the most beautiful gardens I've ever been to. Not that I've been to many, but there are hidden small pathways everywhere, koi fish, rivers, and a lot more to explore here. This garden is one of the three great gardens of Japan, alongside Kenrokuen in Kanazawa and Kairakuen in Mito. There are also some shops here where you can pay insane amounts for something that will cost you a fragment of it at a convenience store, but that's part of the charm, isn't it? So Kairakuen is a, a fantastic park and, uh, you know, I don't know shit about it. I've been living here for how many years now? Five years? Six, seven years in the city? I've been here a, a couple of times. I don't really have anything to say. I don't really know anything about this place. So, uh, you know, editing me needs to do a bunch of research and do a bunch of voiceover work, you know, to make this uh, the intelligible. Well, I just dropped a bunch of info already, you dummy, but here's more. The garden is around 300 years old and was made by the daimyo at the time. Now, a daimyo is kind of like a Japanese lord. You know how they had lords in England and, and stuff back in the day? It's kind of like that. Kings and lords and a daimyo is a daimyo, all right? 
The park also grows its own tea leaves that they then use to make matcha powder, which in turn is used to make, you know, a bunch of confections and even a matcha beer, which, uh, well, you know, we'll get to the matcha beer later. They also had a Nazi shrine, but I don't know about that though. It's a joke! You can also feed the koi fish here if you buy the food from like one of those gacha machines with a bowl with fish food in it, but they go on a piranha frenzy from like a cartoon, it's insane. It's possible to spend up to three hours in this garden without getting bored and possibly more if you want a very nice sunset shot for your Instagram, right? You know? Let's get a recap from homeless looking vlogman. So yeah, this park is uh, fantastic. I think it's really old. Uh, I'll have to do some research and, uh, you know, <laughs> put in some more information because I have no idea uh, what I'm talking about, despite, you know, living here and having been here a bunch. Uh, beautiful, beautiful place. I remember when I was here uh, many years ago, they had a seasonal matcha beer. I know it doesn't sound really good, but it is actually pretty fantastic. Okay, now I'm just... Uh, all right, I guess it's time to get the fuck out of here and get some food, eh? Eh, I turn into a Canadian. Sounds good, and by this point we were peaked deep in the garden, so it took like 40 minutes to get out of there, and my SPF 50 sunscreen was wearing off, and my skin was turning into crispy pork belly, so uh, sooner rather than later. As I said, I don't know too much about this, not too much about this, uh, what do you call it, park, but I mean, it's fun to, to experience it again. Overall, I would probably give it a solid 9.6 out of 10, maybe. It's a pretty, pretty nice, uh, nice goddamn garden. Now it's time to go ahead and get some my fucking ramen, baby. Mm -hmm. 